incredible <laughs> athletes. Can you imagine? They make it look so easy when they, fl they, just they climb up there. They fly yep. up there like it's right nothing. The wall. It's I know. amazing. Yeah. All right, Kevin, what a weird day out there, huh? You know, I was thinking spring sports in Utah are awesome, especially for the <laughs> high school kids, right? Oh, it's such a bummer. Take a look at this video just coming in from a KSL viewer east at Brighton playing soccer. <laughs> Blue skies on one side, snow coming down on the field, athletes going, hey, did we start this in the sun, the rain, or the snow? Well, probably a little bit of everything going on. This is up uh, at east, and what a crazy afternoon. All right, let's show you the Ensign Peak camera. You can see some of the dark clouds still coming over the Salt Lake Valley. We've had bands of rain, snow, gusty winds that have been blowing. We went into the low 50s with a little peekaboo sunshine earlier, but now we're back into the 40s. And Vortex shows these storms keep coming in waves, generally out of the northwest, moving to the southeast. But where they've blossomed, look at Point of the Mountain right now, dealing with some rain that goes over towards Lehigh, a little bit of snow up over Suncrest and into the mountains of Park City and Deer Valley. Generally speaking, the moisture field is going to continue to feed in some precipitation tonight through tomorrow morning. And then we'll see a decrease in this overall coverage. Now, it isn't intense everywhere. It's in these little pockets. But temperatures are sure cool in northern Utah, only in the 40s. You get to the 50s, 60s, and even an 80 in St. George right now. So quite the state where you can go from 40s in the north to 80s in the south. And it's just a couple hours drive down an interstate. Here it is. The overall pattern is there's a big low pressure to the north of us. And this low pressure is going to come back to visit Utah again in a very unconventional pattern. Watch what happens. Tonight, the precipitation lingers a little bit into tomorrow morning. Then this low starts making its comeback. Look what goes on. Wednesday into Thursday, this thing comes across the state. We set up an easterly flow. That creates some canyon winds. It also sends some precipitation into central and northeastern Utah. And then this low decides to come back to the east on Friday, making for a really odd pattern for us. Let me show you the wind gust forecast. This is Thursday morning, generally from North Salt Lake up through about Brigham, 40, 50, 60 mile an hour winds out of the east, jumping to Friday morning. We do the same. This is at 7 a.m., 30, 40 mile per hour winds out of the east. So the potential, this isn't crazy damaging wind, but it's still 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. It's going to be blowing stuff all around. So be advised, we're going to end the precipitation by kicking the wind for the end of the week. Then it all calms down and warms up as we head towards Mother's Day weekend. Sunny skies over southern Utah tomorrow, 50s and 60s. Generally, St. George is going to take a drop in temperatures behind. So some cooler air makes it that far south. So 70 St. George tomorrow, right back to the 80s for Friday and Saturday. I've kept the storminess out of St. George with that coming low from the east but there will be some scattered showers over the central areas and into the northeastern corner of the state. Northern Utah tonight, some lingering showers, otherwise mostly cloudy tomorrow. Temperatures down only in the 50s for highs with lows in the 30s. And the seven-day forecast, mostly cloudy tomorrow. We'll keep it partly cloudy to mostly sunny as those winds come in Thursday, Friday. I don't have precipitation for the Wasatch Front either with that low. I think it'll be to the east of us and south of us. But what an odd pattern to have a low pressure come from east to west in Utah and set up some winds. So this week we've had it all. It's just kind of crazy. We embrace the weirdness, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks. Kev. Okay. All right, JJ, we've been talking about